Looking for a professional and easy to use interview solution for your Apple device? In this video, we're gonna be doing a quick review of the Rode SC6L interview kit and checking out the pros and the cons coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of YouTube strategy videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and links in the description below. We'll list out the gear we mentioned as well as some bonus accessories and things like that. Let's jump into the video. So when it comes to creating content, you'll eventually find yourself in a situation where you probably need to have two people on camera or two different audio sources. Now this is true in a journalism setting, in an interview setting, whether on video or for podcasts, or even as a content creator or YouTuber, where maybe you wanna collab with somebody and have two different audio sources. And Rode has really put together a kit here to make that an easy to solve problem, especially on the go. A lot of times audio equipment can get bulky if you're bringing multiple different microphones, but this interview kit is small and nimble, so let's check out what is included in the box. The first device is the Rode SC6L. Now this is a lightning port version of a prior device that they've offered before, the Rode SC6. And on here you will find two microphone inputs as well as a headphone jack for monitoring your audio. Again, intended for Apple devices because of the lightning port connector. Now all of the items in the kit are available separately and separately this device comes in at $80 here in the US at the time of shooting this video. Now there is an SC6 model that is not a lightning port, it's just a headphone jack and it actually lacks quite a bit of the technology and functionality that this device offers when paired with the Rode app but that device comes in for $20 and is a great solution for plugging directly into the headphone jack of your smartphone if you do not have a lightning port. Next up, included in the box, is two Rode SmartLab Plus microphones. And these are meant to plug into channel one and channel two so that you can complete your interview setup. And again, these microphones are available separately for right around $65 here in the US at the time of shooting this video. And finally, they also include a little pouch which all of these items fit nicely inside of so you're ready to go for shooting interviews at a moment's notice. And so if you purchase the interview kit, you save a few dollars off of what you would spend if you bought all the items separately, with the kit coming in at $200 here in the US. So now let's talk about some of the specifics of this setup. So after testing and reviewing this kit, we've learned that the real standout strength of it is held together in the Rode Reporter app. Because the SC6L is a lightning port adapter, the app actually offers a lot of functionality and customizability around your sound and recording, allowing you to actually configure your setup to control the input level of the microphones at low, medium, and high, allowing you to toggle on and off whether or not you want to monitor your audio through the SC6L, and when you have headphones plugged in, the gain of your phone allows you to change the gain of your headphones. So it's a real nice clean pass through of that exact audio that you're hearing in real time. And then you also have the opportunity to either combine or separate the channels. So right now we have the channels combined, meaning the final audio file of the two uh, people being interviewed would just be in one combined channel. So you'd hear both voices on left and right, but you can also actually separate separate it so that each channel would be soloed out. In that case, one person on the interview would be on channel left, one channel in the interview would be channel right, and if you were to take that into post-processing, you could then manipulate each channel independently, whether with gain or effects, if you wanted to modify each person's voice independently. And then on top of that, the app gives you the same functionality that it gives you for all of the Rode microphones, allowing you to capture an either MP3 or higher bitrate audio format, standard, compressed, or uncompressed, and even controlling the actual bitrate and other customizability so you can get the highest audio quality possible. Okay, so let's do a couple audio tests. Now you're hearing my lavalier mic that's plugged into our Sony camera over here, but right now we can cut to the actual audio directly off of our phone. So if we were to do an interview just in a loft like this, right off the phone, it wouldn't sound very good. So Omar, let's sound check this up. You know, so 
I got this YouTube channel. It's uh, based on my name, Omar Altakori, and I do uh, basic photography for t tutorials. Shameless plug. Check it out on the YouTube card. Okay, so now we've plugged in the interview kit. I've got my lav mic hooked on and we are using a combined audio file. So both of us will be on the left and the right channel. So Omar, what is a quick tip that you would have for anybody watching that would want to get better audio in their videos? I would say definitely in closed rooms, uh, not rooms with high ceilings, but more or less shorter ceilings and smaller spaces, especially ones with carpet to absorb the sounds and so there's no bounce. But if you're doing a like voiceover work, you can definitely use your closet, you know, because your clothes are absorbing the sounds and there's no uh, sounds bouncing around the room, creating an echo. Super good tip. And we're actually in a loft here that uh, sound just drifts off that way and drifts off that way. So that definitely is affecting this audio. But we'd love to hear from you in the comments how you felt like just the on phone audio sounded versus this interview kit that we now have hooked up running through our iPhone. All right, so right now you're hearing this mic right here, and now you're hearing this mic right here, and I'm way over here, but now I'm way over here. So from our test so far, this is a super cool interview kit, especially if you wanted to sit down with somebody on a couch or at a table, set down your phone, connect up both microphones, and record each person's audio during a conversation. Now, of course, you could also use it for video, but I would actually say that that's one of the kind of cons of this kit, because you would probably need to buy the extension cables from Rode for this really to work for video. And what I mean is, if I was to get my camera right here and turn this on, you can hear the audio right now, and I'm recording on my iPhone here. And so you could get the great audio, but there's no cord length to hide this underneath my shirt. I'm about three feet away, and if I put this under my shirt, it would not make it to the lightning port. And so in order to um, get enough cable length, Rode actually offers a 20-foot extension cable, but those are gonna cost an additional $25 a piece. And so knowing Rode's quality and the quality of this kit overall, um, I think that all of that together, the interview kit and maybe two of the 20 foot extensions, especially if you wanna do some video and maybe get your phone even further away, that would make sense. But now your investment is getting pretty f high up there. You're around $250 here in the US. And so maybe a little pricey for some, but if you plan to really pump out a lot of content with this kit, you wanna just pack it in this leather pouch and be ready at a moment's notice to shoot podcasts, to shoot video interviews. I think it's definitely a kit worth considering. And if budget is a major consideration right now, then definitely check out our video series on the best budget smartphone microphones for interviews and for shooting solo videos. We'll link to that on the YouTube card as well as put a link to it in the description below. Question of the day, what are your microphone solutions right now? What are you using for shooting videos? And what do you use to shoot more than one person on camera? Do you have any recommendations for interviews? Definitely let me know in the comment section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here. And if you wanna check out other videos in our smartphone accessories series, click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.